An e-rickshaw owner makes 24 trips a month with four passengers per trip. If his interest cost for purchase of e-rickshaw is 120 rupees per month, he earns 15% profit a month. What will be the approximate percentage profit for the same month if the owner undertakes 20 trips a month with five passengers? And his interest cost is reduced by 10% for the month. Assume. And I read this, I was very surprised. Interest cost is usually a small component of the cost. You're reducing that small component. That might not change your cost structure at all. And then very interestingly, this assumption comes in. And the total cost to be proportional to the interest cost. So if interest cost is cut by 10%, that means all costs are cut by 10%. Fine, that's a, that's a given. Revenue per passenger is the same in both cases. Lovely. So I'm going to think of it as scenario one, scenario two. Revenue linked to, we don't know how many trips, what they charge, how much price, 24 into 4. Here it is linked to 20 into 5. Cost, say 100 units, here it is 90 units. This interest cost is down by 10%. Total cost is proportional to interest cost. Interest cost is down by 10%. Seen that? Where have we seen that? I thought I saw that, read that somewhere. If the interest cost is reduced by 10% for the month, that means total cost is reduced by 10% for the month. So 24 into 4, 20 into 5, the revenue becomes this. This becomes this. Here, the profit percentage is 15%. What will it be here? Okay. Or if profit percentage is 15%, that means selling price is 1.15 times cost price. Okay. What will be this? Ratio of selling price by cost price is 1.15. What will be the ratio of selling price by cost price here? That's all we are doing. What am I going to do? This is linked to this. I'm going to call this an X, call this Y. This is X, this is Y. So that the linkages are very clear. And so what do we know now? 24 into 4x by 100y is 1.15. 20 into 5x by 90y, what is this equal to? The ratios work wonders. We don't have to find the profit number, do profit by cost price into 115%. That means selling price is 1.15 times cost price. Plot that in. Selling price by cost price is 1.15. New selling price by new. We don't need to know what they are linked to. Don't add 100 variables saying. So this is the cost is 120 per month. How do I care? So 120 into K for overall cost. How do I care? If it was 100, it becomes 90. If it was 10, it becomes 9. That's all we need. And so let's knock this off. 24 into 4. 96 by 100, 24 by 25. I'm going to write that down. So 24 into 4 by 100, x by y is 115 by 100. This goes away. Or x by y is 115 by 24 into 4. 20 into 5 by 90 into x by y is 115 by 24 into 4. What is this equal to? If that is 1.62, then this is 62%. If it is 1.46, it is 46%. Let's find this fraction. 115 is 23 into 5. This is 24. This is 5. This is 6. 115 is 23 into 5. This is 18. So 25 into 23 by 18 into 24. That's what this roughly becomes. 25 into 23 is 24 plus 1 into 24 minus 1. This is 24 square minus 1. This is roughly equal to 24 square by 24 into 18. Are roughly equal to 4 by 3. A little less than 4 by 3. It's not 24 square. It is 24 square minus 1. 4 by 3 is 1.333. 33.33%. That's the answer we for. Ratios work wonders. 15% profit. That means selling price is 1.15 times cost price. Plonk that in and then work from there. Gosh.